Hi guys, how is everyone doing? Welcome back to part three of my MSC Virtuosa cruise vlogs. If you've not seen me before, my name is Danny Dallimore. Oh my God, we're rocking. It's the captain's gala formula. I know every cruise company calls it something different. Today has been such a nice, chilled day. Firstly, little guys, if you like this sort of content, remember to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. It means that you guys will be the first ones to find out and see when my future cruise vlogs come up. I just want to draw your attention to this very quickly. When you get on board, you get one of your M one of your own MSC wristbands. Now, these are very, very important when you got on board because, first of all, these are contact tracing. So it means that the crew can trace where you've been on the ship so if anything was to happen with the virus or anything at least they would know who was in that bar at that time but also you can enter your room by using this and you can also pay and um, for drinks and stuff on it so it's really really handy and i really like it and also guys it's not clunky or anything it's just nice it fits really well on the wrist and it's nice and it works well with me suit as well. Let's go down for food. Um, you guys might have remembered from last week's, obviously uh, Ruby had mentioned that Manana didn't really fancy coming. She's adamant, she doesn't really wanna come. She's <laughs> she's happy, well we're rocking a bit, so sorry guys if you see me swaying. Um, she's quite happy just to chill in our room tonight, bless her. She has done a lot of walking. For a 67 year old woman, check-in was insane. It was obviously you guys, I did mention it on a couple of weeks ago, but it was a lot of walking up and down and she doesn't walk a lot, she's got, she's got arthritis obviously getting on the ship walking around obviously she's got us three who are as fit as anything who want to get around and see everything so she bless her she tried she did a lot of walking uh, but now i think it's kind of wiped her out so she's just going to chill i think she's going to get a room service probably just have tea and coffee and just chill in our room so we're quite happy because the three of us are just going to go out um, and we'll keep going back and checking on her to make sure she's all good we'll get ready we'll go out for formal night we'll uh oh god yes you've just reminded me i need my face mask um, and let's get going. Yeah, I think we're on floor six. Which elevator are we at? This one. Oh, this one. Cool, see. So yeah, guys, just a quick one, actually. Just because I don't know if I've mentioned this in future vlogs. Eh, pre future, previous. When you click one of them buttons, it'll tell you which elevator to go to. So obviously it's told us to go to this elevator here, which is C. Really easy and simple enough. All you do is click the button, very all contactless once you're in the elevator, and it'll basically tell you which way to go. Dead easy, dead simple. Guys, again, I can't believe I forgot my tie. Every time I get on these cruises, I forget a bloody tie. It's so nice exploring the ship and seeing everyone dressed in that formal wear. It's always the nicest feeling, you know what I mean? When everyone gets goes that little extra mile, gets dressed up for a night. And also they've got the lighting effects on again tonight on the dome, which just looks lovely. Tonight we're gonna to be eating in the main dining restaurant, which is just over here. And I'm really, really excited. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice to try the main dining restaurant. This is our first time trying it on this cruise. Yeah. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, th uh, table of three. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Are you okay? Yeah, good you? Guys, I already love this main dining restaurant already because I've just checked the menu and guess what they have on it? They have my favourite drink, Asti. Now, I don't know if any of you guys, obviously most of you guys would have tried this. Um, I tried this once because of Connor's mum and honestly I'm addicted. Favourite drink, honestly. Food has arrived and look what we've got. I'm, I'm, to be fair, I'm a bit jelly if the kids' is options. Look at this. So I went for the Caesar salad, guys, but look what Ruby's got. Is that Ruby? Do you know? Um, it's, I think mushroom. mushroom. And I don't have a clue what Evan's got, but that looks amazing. Do you know what that was, Evan? No, I don't have a clue. I'm not going to lie, I am blown away by the service, the food, everything is just so nice. And honestly, this is probably the nicest Caesar salad I've ever had. Honestly, it's just so nice and chilled. And again, guys, that's one of the main things I want to reiterate in these vlogs is I'm absolutely still blown away. Obviously, I don't want to speak too soon because we're only on like day two. Obviously, vlog three for you guys, but I'm absolutely blown away by the way MSC have handled every single thing from the moment we got on the ship, going through check-in, getting on the ship. Everything has just been so chilled and um, but safe at the same time. And not at any point have I felt um, worried or nervous, you know, about myself or the party, you know, the kids and Manana. It's, it's just been perfect, really has. And I'm really, I'm really astonished and blown away by 
you know, the way they've handled it. And I really hope other cruise companies follow suit and can, you know, let non-vaccinated passengers and vaccinated passengers on ship safely like MSC are doing now. Guys, the kids are happy as well because Ruby's got like a berry mocktail which he's pleased about and Evan's got like a banana mocktail and my ass is going down so nicely it's so crazy as well because I wouldn't usually drink you know unless I'm on unless I'm on a cruise it's so nice just being able to enjoy chill vibes like this again you know I'm okay I'm absolutely fine it goes down so nicely so mains have arrived food again on the mains, lovely, and the sauce and the mashed potatoes, just so nice. And guys, now we're on dessert and I've got a cheese board. Ruby's got Nutella, which looks lovely, and Evan's got cheese board as well. Looks lovely. Ruby's going to attempt to name these cheeses. Go on then. <laughs> cheddar. Right. Cheddar. Which one's cheddar? I think it's that one. Uh, no. Right. Is that cheese? Well, obviously it's a cheese board. <laughs> I would hope it was cheese. It doesn't really. look like cheese. That doesn't look like cheese either. Oh man, it's fruit. There's pineapple back there, so, well. That's brie, blue cheese, and I think that's cheddar. Okay, well done, that's good. Let's, guys, let me know in the comments if she's right. We've just literally got out of the main meal, and we're just getting the elevator. We're gonna head up in, just check in with Nana, make sure she's all good. Guys, that meal was just absolutely stunning. The kids enjoyed it as well, didn't you? Yeah. Really enjoyed that meal. Currently ordering breakfast for the morning. Room service. Do like a they do croissants, they do cereals. Breads and pastries. Bread. Well. Toast. So beverages, so you'll just put like, do you want coffee? Decaffeinated coffee? Cup of tea? Yeah, tea. Well, me. why don't you just tick them all? Well, actually, no, don't. So tick a coffee and tick um, hot chocolate. It's just because I've got we've got four people in here. If we take like coffee, hot chocolate with their like, I would cup. just put times next to it, so times two, times All three. Right, so it should say on there how to do it, but for now, um, just you could do that. Who wants tropical or orange juice in the morning? Guys, room service has arrived, and look at it! My God, it's like a feast. You get some crisps. And then two BLTs. These look lovely. We're actually being really fat tonight because after we've ate this. We're then going to go at the buffet. But honestly, this is really nice and you get, you even get some carrots. Oh, that flavour it as well. Guys, look at the sandwich as well. It's bloody massive. Our way to get some dessert now. We're just using this little elevator. So there's these little elevators dotted around. But I say little, they're just normal size. We're going to floor 15 um, for the buffet because we're going to get some dessert. And as mentioned before, we are just being fat because we definitely... <laughs> We definitely don't need it. The left doors have just opened again. <laughs> How amazing is this at night? Looks absolutely stunning. A little bit later, and we had dessert, and now, oh my god, my mask's falling. Now me and the kids are just exploring the ship, and we just came across the spa. Now, it's not open at the moment, but I'm just going to take you in, do a little bit of filming, and show you around. Now, this looks very nice. So you've got all the spa stuff on this side, on the left-hand side. Spa stuff on the right-hand side. And obviously, like I said on last week's vlog, guys, I've got a free day tomorrow and it's very tempting. Very, very, very tempting. We have a barber shop here. So if you want your hair cut, this is where you would have a cut in the barber shop. We've got the thermal spa over here. Nail salon. MSC or uh, C shop just there. Uh, see what's down here. See nice paintings. It feels very nice and premium here. We've got the massage rooms. And the promenade guys on a night time. This looks absolutely amazing, it looks so nice. And it just shows how quiet the ship is currently at the moment because it's only 11 o'clock and this is what it's like at the moment. But the ceiling is just absolutely gorgeous. Right next to this section, which just leads from the spa, we've got the TV studio and bar. Um, and this looks really nice in here. So you've got some drink stuff there and it's very quiet in here at the moment. Guys, back in the room. 
Oh my god, bloody hell. Do you know when you've walked, we've just done like a lot of walking, just exploring, and um, just getting some footage for you guys, but uh, but yeah, oh my god, what a lovely evening it's been. Really enjoyed formal night, guys. Really, really enjoyed it. It was nice. Um, food was absolutely insane, and then obviously we went back to the cabin to see my nana, um, ended up eating there, and then <laughs> we went to the marketplace buffet, and ate even more. I said to the, I said to the kids, I said, Jesus Christ, I'm going to be so fat when I get home. Even though I already am. <laughs> Just going to need to exercise more. Just literally drinking some Asti wine in the room, guys. This really is the life. Oh, God. Right, this cruise, man. Guys, we've still got, we're not even halfway through yet. We've still got more to go. But... <sighs> Thank you firstly for watching and, and being part of this and, and seeing how we get on. But secondly, MSC, man, I am absolutely blown away by the service. The ship is absolutely gorgeous. Um, oh, God. This, I, I'll, I'll do, like, when, when it comes to the end of this vlog series, obviously we're on vlog number three now, once, once we get to the end of number five, I'll do, like, a full rundown with you guys of my pros and cons. Obviously, like everything, guys, there's cons, um, but oh, this ship is just amazing it really is i'm gonna uh, hit the hay now i'm just gonna quickly do my own room service um for the morning i'm gonna sort breakfast out i'm gonna sort that off camera i might do breakfast on camera um for next week's vlog though but i'm just gonna do that and um yeah i will see you in the morning we're rocking a bit again but it's nice it'll help us go to sleep <laughs> Anyway guys, I will see you in the morning. Morning, how are you all doing? I don't even know why I do this. I say like, like, like it's a, well obviously for you guys it's like about 30 seconds later. <laughs> Day is MSC's uh, Virtuosa's cleaning of decks. So what they're doing right now, um, well, uh, balconies, sorry. So they're cleaning uh, all of our balconies. There's about 30 of us. They're cleaning our balconies today. And they're going to wash down all the windows, wash down all the chairs. And do you know, just MSC every single time just blow me away. Way. you know the fact that they're going to this extra measure i'm not gonna lie i'm a bit gutted because obviously it's the only day of report and i would have loved to have sat out there with my breakfast that i'll show you in a sec with my breakfast and obviously looked out but it's all part of their covid secure um policies and that's fine that is absolutely fine as long as people are safe that's all that matters in my eyes. Now for breakfast, guys, I'm not going to lie, I've been a bit naughty and I've pretty much ordered everything on the menu. Please don't judge. The reason why I've done this is for you guys. <laughs> I'm joking. No, I have, honestly. I've done this for you guys, just so you can kind of see um, the options. Right, so I ordered some white toast. So we've got some white toast. We've got some brown toast. We've got some pano chocolate, which I'll save for Ruby because she loves them. And we've got some bread in croissants. Just where I'm buttering this bread, guys, let me like talk a few through a few a couple of things because you know I want I want these vlogs to be an honest representation of my thoughts on MSC so far. Now when we go when we come down to um firstly when we come down to the way they've handled COVID. Guys, honestly, I am blown away. I didn't, I still feel bad to this day that I didn't fill in much of the check-in procedure. The only reason being, guys, is because of, you know, it was very like people were watching, you know what I mean? It wasn't as easy to fill them is what I thought it would be. I, don't, I know probably other vloggers have probably got loads of footage of the check-in, so obviously check theirs out. Um, but I just felt a bit awkward filming check-in. It was quite a stressful, not by MSC, by the way. I suffer really badly with anxiety, really badly. And um, I was anxious, I was really anxious. The lady who uh, checked me in, it was her first day, and she kind of was like, Oh no, your insurance doesn't cover you. But then the boss told us it did, so she was like, "Oh, it's fine." The boss said you're all good to go. But that caused some huge anxiety. If there's only one thing I would recommend MSC to do, it's just be, you know. And I know they'll never watch this video, but just for passengers to just know what they're accepting and what they're not. But from then on, I was just stressed, and I was trying to put a smile on through check-in because I was a bit embarrassed. You know what I mean? Um. 
But that, yeah, she apologised and, it, God, everyone makes mistakes, guys. You know, I make mistakes, everyone makes mistakes in life. And it's the second voyage. I'm gonna head over to my nana's cabin. I'm just gonna take some goodies over for them because I can't eat them, I'm, I'm full. And it's just full of carbs. And, you know, I need to, I need to fit into my clothes when I get home. <laughs> so we're gonna head over. I don't eat my shades, actually, I'll not take my shades. Gonna head over there now, take some goodies to them. We'll chill with them for a bit. I've literally just got into my nana's cabin as well. And look, there's the two, is that the princess? What, which, guys, let me know in the comments, which ship is that? I know it's a 2 one obviously, I just don't know which one it is. It's so nice seeing another cruise ship, do you know what I mean? Um, I would love to get on 2 and guys, let me know in the comments if you would like to see a series of us on a 2 cruise, because we could do, we could do. You can see as well, this is them sanitising the actual de uh, decks as well. This is actually good to get this, so this is them... This is them um, sanitising the deck. Bless me, just waved. And um, this is the uh, cleaning that they do every single couple of days just to keep the deck nice and clean. It's so good. Um, you know, brilliant, brilliant idea from MSC to keep the outside and the inside clean. Look at this, guys. Honestly, if you weren't, like, obviously, if someone didn't tell you, you know, you're, you know, you're in the UK, you would never know, would you? It's so gorgeous. Obviously, the water is nice and blue. I don't know if the camera picks it up. It's just so nice, man. My nana has just rang me saying she's hungry. So we're going to go up. We're going to go and get some food. I think we're just going to do the marketplace buffet again. And then I'm going to come back and I want to film a cabin tour to get it up for Thursday. I need to get that done. We set sail at 6 p.m. tonight. We've got basically got five and a half hours Probably, probably take us about an hour to get that done. So I'm gonna go up for food and then get back, start editing, and uh, and then enjoy the rest of the day. I want to show you something, right? Because this is a, this is actually quite important, right? So I want to show you something. So obviously that was my cabin, and um, basically yesterday what I found was like a little I wouldn't call it a secret, but basically um, a little uh, secret passageway. Um, to uh, getting up to the top deck much quicker and I'll show you. You see elevators like this? So these are like situated like certain points of the ship and I really like this because this takes you directly up to deck 15 straight from your cabins. The first time I found this out was yesterday and um, when the kids found it and oh my god guys it's a lifesaver. Look I'll show you how easy and painless this is. Before we found this we were going all the way around the ship trying to find it. Look at this. The elevator is like a walking elevator. You can see the outside from there which is kind of a bit scary I'm not gonna lie. Um, especially if you don't like heights like me. I hate heights but anyway you can get over it so we're going up Obviously, there's the front, there's the back, and then now we're on deck 15, and guys, oh, sorry, and then guys, this is where you come out, and you're literally at the main pool area. Currently got some turkey with some veg, and then I got some noodles as well, like with some prawns in. Looks, looks very, very nice. Kids have got some desserts, pizzas, chips. Dessert, salad, pizzas, and this is the view, guys. I can't get over that. That is stunning, that. Very picturesque, that. Lovely water. The water does look quite blue. Looks really nice. You wouldn't think that we're in the UK still, would you? I stop worrying about worrying. We will keep turning. Doesn't matter what I do. I do. Try to be open. And keep my head up to words and that's good. Just chilling on the open deck, pina colada, and it's crazy. The sun has came out. I'm actually blown away. It's so nice, you know, just finally to get a bit of sunshine away from the rain. It's so nice, guys, just being able to chill on the deck. Pina colada. This is my first pina colada off the cruise because I've been drinking this mango juice. I don't know what it is, and I had like a banana shake, then I had a milkshake. I've been drinking everything on this ship. If you didn't know I was in the UK, where on earth would you think I was right now? It is so warm. Look at this, man. How lovely all this is. Absolutely gorgeous. This is all Dorset. And, wow, it's so nice. I've been to Dorset a few times. Absolutely love Dorset. I think the plan is now, guys, we're gonna go meet up with family. Uh, the kids have been in the pool all day, but bless them, they've had such an awesome day just chilling in the pool. I've just done a lot of exploration. We're gonna go and get the kids out of the pool, get changed, watch Sail Away, because we're meant to sail off in literally about just under 45 minutes. 
and I think we're going to go to the arcades tonight. However guys, before we meet family, let's get a pina colada in the Sky Lounge. And the views from the Sky Lounge are absolutely stunning. Obviously you've got Portland in the distance. You can actually see my nana down there if you actually look careful enough. Now I can only come into the Sky Lounge on my own because it is an adults only bar. And it's really nice obviously because you can chill pina colada and just look at the views. Come on then, let's do a taste test. Anyway guys, we're about to sail away now. It's pretty much about 15 minutes. And there's the family up ahead. You enjoy the pool? Uh, yes. Yeah. I was just up there in the adult bar. Just up there. Yeah, I don't blame them. That is us getting ready to pull out of Portland. Do you know, obviously we've not been able to get off the ship. Um, obviously due to COVID, we, obviously you could pay to get off, but we just decided, you know, the weather's stunning. We just decided to stay on the ship, relax. And do you know what? We've had a lovely day. Obviously we've went around the ship. I've done some exploration. The kids have chilled in the pools, been to the adult bar. They're literally just getting ready to pull everything in now. Oh, we're going now. Actually, we're moving right now. I literally was like, oh, I think we're getting ready. <laughs> and yeah, we are guys, we're on our way out. And there's the horn guys. Even now, as we're pulling off, I can feel the sun on my face and it is so warm. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this week's vlog here. If you've liked this video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you guys get to see when part four comes out. Part four is gonna be an arcade trip. We're all going to the uh, restaurant tonight to have a meal. It'll be the first time us all going for a meal. Um, have I mentioned we're going to the arcades? We're gonna go to the arcades and also, you'll see what it's like sailing out of Portland. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye, guys. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> so, of course, check our temperatures. Perfect. And, guys, we've literally just got out to catch the sunset. How gorgeous is that?